Hey guys, what's up? So our all-time favorite tank, Leila, recently received a buff this season. Let's see what the developers got for her. As a marksman without blink. Oh, she's a marksman? Hey, that's not polite! Kidding aside, we all know that Leila is one of the marksmen without a dash skill and doesn't have any hard CC skill either. And because of that, she's much more vulnerable and often seen as food in the game. With that said, the developers intend to allow Leila to hide her enemies more effectively by reducing the animation of her attacks. The second skill's slow effect from mark detonation was changed to AOE stun as well. The combination of renewed second skill, shortened animation of attacks, and the extra range and movement speed effect from her first skill can help Leela distance herself from the enemy and reposition while launching attacks. To balance, they had to reduce her physical attack growth and passive damage by a few points. Hmm, are these changes enough to make Leila a viable pick for the higher rank? Anyways, this is the build that I've used in this game. I've also used the Marksman Emblem with the Weapon Master talent. It will amplify the physical attack gained from equipment and emblem by 15% which can help Leila deal more damage. Hang on Cho, I'm on my way. Training tests are just easy peasy. <laughs> huh. Well played, Joe. Now we're free to get some gold on the tower. Our first item will be the Wind Talker. Aside from its basic stats, its unique passive will help us clear the minion wave faster, thus giving us time to position ourselves defensively or offensively. No time for the enemy mid laner is very active in visiting the gold lane. We have to be extra careful. Right in front of you. I told you my secret place just on a whip. It doesn't mean anything! Target acquired! I never miss my target! Now we can take all the gold from the tower without worries. Let's recall and recover our mana first. Melissa is now cautious and stays behind her tower. Let's see if we can provide backup in the middle lane. I got you, Lance! An enemy has been slain. Let's go back to the gold lane. When playing Leila, I like to use the first skill first to enhance her movement speed and range. This also increases the range of her second skill, thus giving Leila more chance to deal damage. And because of that, Melissa decided to recall. Now we're free to destroy the tower. It took me ages to protect my battlefield. You destroy the turret. Well played, Cho. Time to help the middle lane. I forgot that I'm not a tank Leila now. Let's destroy this tower while the enemies are busy in the turtle area. And here comes another team fight. I'm just walking around. Thanks, Cecilia. It's me. Target acquired. I think I'm a ghost now. There's no time for fear now. 
the First Lord has spawned. Let's get into position for some kiting. Me come out on top again. Our jungler is dead, so I decided to take down another tower instead of getting the Lord. Let's take another tower and get the enemy's red buff while we wait for the Lord to enhance. Auto E. I'm just testing Leila's limits of capabilities. The level 2 Lord has already spawned and no one is touching it yet. Not again, Lapu Lapu. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just a grasshopper. Three of our enemies are dead. Now we can take the Lord at ease. Let's wait for the Lord to spawn and try to end the game with it. I think that's dangerous. Let me buy the Throw Forbidden item first. We didn't get the chance to end the game on that attempt. Let's try to get some pickoffs while we wait for the Lord to respawn. If our enemies are dead and our show is on its way to destroy Daniel, the enemy's me. base. Can he make it? Let's try to keep Selena busy dead. And for the last slain. time, well played Cho. So what can you say about Leila's buff? Is this enough to compete with the other marksmen? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.